to create a good atmosphere of, of the reality of trading, not all this, hey, check out my Lamborghini and check out my private jet and buy my system and you can make, you can have this too in, in a matter of months. Um, trading is hard. It's a grind. It's frustrating. You, you can ask my wife how many days I walk around the house and I'm just pissed off. She's like, what's wrong, babe? I'm like, man, the market's got me today. It, it's, it's frustrating. Um, but it's also very rewarding. It can be very, very, very rewarding. And I think anyone that's been trading for a long time, you guys have done the same thing. Um, I like gold. I'm a, I don't trade gold. I'm a hard asset investor in gold. So I've got a few gold coins that I keep for a uh, doomsday. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a fan of gold. Um, do you know how much the London uh, close strategy? Um, you know much? Of, I do not. That's a perfect question for Jason Greystone, though. I know he has a video coming out soon on um, on YouTube. I know he teaches that strategy in his Forex Basics course as well. Um, how much would you recommend people to start with trading full time? Now, again, if you're saying full time, meaning nothing else, no side job, no you know few extra hours being a bouncer, or a few extra hours working at a gym. Um, I would say $200,000, which you, here, here's an easy way to calculate it, right? Figure out how much you need to live. Figure out how much you need to live. Figure out your average return, right, based on your back testing results. And then price in, right, price in you wanting to take at least half, at least half of that average return and roll it back into your account. But I say 200,000 because look at this, right? I'm horrible at math. But let's say, sh shoot, shoot me an average return that you guys, hey, what's going on, Owen? Shoot me an average return that you guys would be happy with, like a, a, a realistic average return per month. And again, when I say per month, this is average per month. It, it never comes, hey, 3% each month. It never comes like that. It comes 10%. It comes 13%. It comes negative 7%. What's an average return percent-wise you would be happy with? 10% a month. I've got 10% a month there, right? Now, in the trading industry, here's what's routinely thought, right? <laughs> Tony says $1 million per month. $1 million, right? If you can average 2% a month, you're considered a good trader. If you can average 5% a month, you're considered one of the best traders out there. That, that is typically what is considered to be the range between good and great trader. So keep that in perspective when you guys are thinking, hey, 20% a month. Um, it may not be as realistic as it seems. Now, when you, do, when you put some money management strategies in there, you can make some big differences, right? You can easily return, right? You can easily make a 30% return a year with a good money management system. You can easily make that from 30 to about 50 to 60 if you're doing things, depending on how aggressive you are. But let's just say 5%, right? So let's say you start with a $200,000 account, right? And you're making 5% a month right? That's $10,000. Now, if we, if we went with what I just said, how you want to put half of that into half of that into compounding your trading account, that means you're left with $5,000. So the question is, can you survive the year? Can you pay all of your expenses and, and you know, treat yourself as well with $5,000 a month? What do you guys think? Is $5,000 $5, a month enough to pay mortgage, car note, bills, kids, schools, and all that stuff? Some people are saying no. It's going to depend on your lifestyle. Some people are saying no. Some people are saying yes. But keep in mind, guess what? That's with a $200,000 account. If you take that same number you cut in half, right, you're doing a $100,000 account, guess what? Now you've got $2,000. That's going to eliminate a much higher percentage of the people that can afford to live on, two, on uh, that much per month. If you have a $50,000 account, guess what? even less. Now you're looking at basically a thousand dollars a month that you have to survive on. You see how it's not as easy as it seems? Some of you guys have mortgages, right? Some of you guys have mortgage payments that are more than that. I know my mortgage payment is more than that. Don't overlook how much you need to actually survive. So take some time, really dig into your personal finances, really dig into how much you need to live, right? And always overestimate, right? If your mortgage is, if your mortgage is, if your if your electric bill is two hundred dollars, right, a month, 
make it 300, right? Overestimate, right? Overprepare. The worst case you can have is you have extra money lying in your pocket. But really dig deep into your finances, figure out how much you need to live. Really dig deep into your trading results, a realistic view of your trading results. See how much you can actually produce. And you can start, you can start adding up the number of how much minimum I would need to trade if you want to go full time. Most people aren't trading full time, they're using it as a supplemental income. And then as they grow their business, right, now you have different revenue sources that you can throw back into your trading account. Um, Carlos says, what about traders that work full time? What are the possibilities to make a good enough return? What, there's, there's, no, um, there's no time versus money aspect in trading. This, this is another, another myth, right? Where the more time you spend in front of your charts, the more time you spend in front of the market, the more money you'll produce. I should say it like this. The more time you spend in front of the charts, the better you're gonna, the, the faster you're gonna grow your skill of trading, yes. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean you produce more profit. The person that spends an hour in front of their charts doing analysis can make more money than the person spending seven hours. In fact, I would argue that the more time you spend in front of your charts, the less money you're going to produce. Oh, oh my gosh. Did he just say that? The more time you spend in front of your charts, the more likely you are to make a mistake, the more likely you are to make a mistake, the more likely you are to blow your account. So you can certainly be a full-time, have a full-time job and be a trader. You just have to work your trading around your hours. And it may take, it may take a lot of extra work. It may take waking up four o'clock in the morning and doing your analysis before going into work. It may mean sneaking off to a computer during your lunch break and, and, and managing your position. It may mean staying up late at night and making sure all of your analysis is done before you go to sleep. But it's certainly doable, certainly doable. That's the great thing about the Forex market, especially. 24 hour market. It's always open. The good and the bad thing, I guess. <laughs> it's always open. Yeah, you don't have to sit there the whole time. It's a very good question. Join uh join great Jason Greystone for the, the night session. Booka booka wow wow. <laughs> the stone zone. Ah. <laughs> uh. Um, I, I gotta, why'd this deal pop up? Something popped up on my, there he goes. All right. Um, just checking the, I've been ignoring the, the YouTube questions. Um, if you have a, do, 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 uh, yeah, uh, Forex and binary are two different things. Gotta hustle, find time. Yeah. If it's important, you'll make time. Many of you have heard my story about the Xbox guy. That's the greatest example. Spoke to a guy before. He said, Akil, uh, I hear you guys talk about back testing all the time. Is that something I really need to do? And I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah. He's like, well, does it take a long time to back test? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it does. And he's like, so you're telling me if, 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 if in order for me to back test, I'm going to have to, uh, what, I'm going to have to give up my time playing Xbox. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, probably. He's like, I don't think I want to do that. You guys laugh, but uh, I mean, I'm proud of this trader for being honest. This, this trader told himself, I'm not willing to make that sacrifice. I'm not willing to do what needs to be done to be successful. And many of you guys, oh, he's a quitter. He's bad. How can he do that, right? Guess what this trader didn't do, or hopefully didn't do. I don't, I don't know. He didn't, blow, he didn't waste a lot of time and money doing something that he's not going to be successful with. Many of you guys will waste so much time, right, half-assing your, your, your training, right, half-assing your approach to the market. And you'll waste a lot of time, you'll waste a lot of money, end up blowing an account and quitting, right? You'll waste five years of your life, right? And blow a lot of money just to figure out this isn't for you. At least this trader right now said, oh, this, this is, I'm not willing to be dedicated enough. This isn't for me. And he saved himself time and money to do something else. This isn't a game, right? We call it a game all the time because I'm a big sports guy, but this is real life, guys. This is real money at stake. This is real money changing hands. And this is the most aggressive market out there. And the market's main agenda is to cause as much pain to as many people as possible. And if you don't come in with the right approach, if you don't come in and take this seriously, you are going to donate your money to someone else. It will take your money from you. Trust me, I've been there. Jason Greystone's been there. Every one of you have most likely been there. This, this market will take your money. Either you approach it seriously or you don't approach it at all. 
and you have to make that decision. If you're not going to take it seriously, I, it's going to sound cruel, but you should quit right now. You should quit right now. If you're not going to take it seriously, you should quit right now. If you are going to take it seriously, make sure you do something about it. Put yourself in the position to succeed, right? After I quit my three jobs, the first thing I did, I said, I need to find someone that can teach me. I had someone teach me how to do the stock investing. I need someone to teach me Forex. And I found someone. I found someone that was willing to teach me. I took a look at the price of his education. It was steep. I said, ah, man, do I really want to pay this much? I'm a cheap person. I'm a very frugal person. I said, do I really want to pay this much? Right? And I, I asked myself this question. Akil, are you going to be successful? Yes. No hesitation. Yes. Because I'm a winner. Winners win. Right? I win at everything I do because I don't give up until I win. Am I going to be successful? Yes. Am I going to return right, more than my initial investment? So the training course I took cost about, I think it was $4,000. Will the skill that I learn return me more than $4,000 in the future? Yes, no brainer, no brainer. Now it took me a while. I, I, didn't, I didn't take my education as seriously as I needed to at first. And it, it took me losing a lot more money to figure that out, but eventually it paid off. And I'll tell you what, I may have made a little more than $4,000 back in my trading career. I've been doing this for 10 years now, right? But it came down to asking myself, am I going to take it seriously? And if you're going to take it seriously, you go all in. You do everything possible to put yourself in a position where you can be successful. And if you know you're not willing to do that, just stop right now because you're just going to waste time. You're just going to waste money.